A plea for help after a series of unfortunate events became a recipe for disaster for a food truck business in the South Bay. Plus, pushing to get 100 senior dogs adopted in a matter of days and the simple ways you can help out. I'm Audrey Assistio. Let's get you synced in. The owners of a food truck in San Jose are asking for help after a recent rough run ended with a big blind side to their business. The operators of Baria Kitchen Food Truck are facing thousands of dollars in repairs after someone driving a stolen truck sideswiped their vehicle last month. The couple say that the damage was so extensive the truck can no longer be driven. They also can't use the kitchen to prepare their Filipino dishes, meaning they had to cancel all their holiday day catering jobs. We've had to cancel caterings. We sh pop up at breweries all over San Jose and we've had to contact them saying, hey, I'm sorry, we can't, you know, come. The food truck is our main source of income. The repairs are expected to cost $8,000, but on top of that, they recently lost their insurance and they've had to postpone their county health permit inspection because their truck no longer runs. A big push is underway across the state to find homes for senior dogs. This comes as many overcrowded shelters are leaving workers with a very difficult decision. Muttville Dog Rescue in San Francisco, which helps get sheltered dogs age seven and older adopted, says the need at local shelters is high. Dog shelters are overcrowded this holiday season, which means shelter workers are facing the difficult choice of whether to euthanize the dogs they don't have room for. But over the next 10 days, Muttville is aiming to take in over 100 dogs and get them adopted. We sent out an, a massive email to all of our partnering shelters and they were all just very happy uh, to hear that we were going to take their older dogs as some of them really facing euthanasia at that point. Since last week, the shelter has brought in 50 dogs and managed to already find homes for 33 of them. All right, time now to take a look at our weather forecast with meteorologist Carrie Hall. We've had some chilly mornings across the Bay Area, and that continues throughout the week. Basically, what we saw today is what we'll see over the next few days. Take a look at that forecast. There's no major changes on the way as we start out with temperatures in the upper 30s, and then we'll see our afternoon highs in the mid to upper 60s. Overall, a nice quiet stretch of weather, but we will be watching out for changes by the end of the weekend as we may be tracking some rain headed our way. Take a look at San Francisco. Highs here only reach into the low 60s, so keep that jacket on, but at least we'll have the sunshine to make it feel a little bit warmer. We're tracking the latest with any changes in the forecast on social media as well as on NBCBayArea.com. Thanks so much, Carrie, and thank you for joining us today on Sinkton. See you tomorrow.